So hi guys, I just made a video of how to solve a pyramix and I am pretty sure that I made a video of me solving a 3x3 three three, but not me teaching you how. So the first step is of course to mix it up. So I'm just going to scramble it here quickly like this. So you, it doesn't matter how you scramble it as long as it is scrambled. And I remember when I was younger, I was always like, what, solving a Rubik's Cube is impossible and all this stuff. But once you know how to solve it, it's actually really simple and easy. And that's with everything. Once you see something's hard and then you know how to do it, then it's easy. So here, this is how I solve it. So when I wanted to learn how to do a 3 by 3 I didn't care how fast I do it. I just wanted to do it. So this is how to solve it. This is not how to speed solve it. So first, you look at the white. And you just make the first layer. So I don't use any algorithm, so that's why I'm slow for the first layer. But all you have to do is connect like all the whites with their color on top. So here we have white and blue. Here is white and blue. So we have to just flip this one over here. So now we have white, blue, white, blue. Now we have to find another corner with white and blue on it. So we look around and here, white and blue. So now what we just do is we bring it down. Now we have this whole white layer and that whole blue layer. Now let's look up, oh, we have the orange. So first of all, I see a red and white here and a red and white there. So let me just push that there. Okay, so now we have orange and there's a orange and white right here. So what we do is we push it away here, turn it there. And now we have it here instead of here. Now we could just spin this over and put it back. And now we have the orange in it. Now we have a white and orange corner. So we bring that to the bottom and we put it in a spot, put it away so we can bring that back up. And now we have that. Now we have green and red corner here. So let's push that out of the way. So now it's like this. And now we have to, we have the white there, put it back down, back up, and there. So the first layer is just simple. It's not that hard to learn how to do. You just have to just figure it out. Basically what you do is you connect all the white pieces in the right spot. So we just put the middle piece in there and now the final piece of the white right here. So here is the white layer. Basically what it is is just solving the white, but these colors have to be connected with the parts where they're supposed to be. So now we're on to the second layer. So what the second layer is, is basically just the second layer. You have to put these edge pieces here in the right spots. So I just got lucky. It does not happen often where these pieces are in the right spot. So let me just take those pieces out so we can just show a good example. So yeah, so I took one of those pieces out. Now we just unsolve the orange second layer. So here we have it. So what you have to do is you look on the third layer to see if we have any pieces that does not have yellow. So here we have orange and blue, there's no yellow there. So let's say it's over here. So we put the orange on top of the orange right here. And you see the blue is on this side. So we wanna push it away to the other side right here. So now that it's on this side, we do this algorithm. Up, side, down, side then we look at the other color which was the blue color up side down you could do side but it doesn't matter if you do it. so it's just the same algorithm just one with the right side and one with the left so now we do it again now we have green and orange right here so we have the green here so we push it away to the blue side now we start with the algorithm on the left up side down side then we look at the other color, which was green, up, side, down. And then you could do side, of course. And now we have green and red. So now what we're going to do is here's the red. So we push it to the orange, up, side, down, side. Look at the red, up, side, down, side. So now we have the whole second layer solved. Oh, never mind. Okay. So now we almost have the second layer, just same thing. Push it away to the orange, upside, down, side. Then look at the red, upside, down, side. Okay, so that seems easy. 
or it doesn't for you. I don't know. So you can just rewatch it if it doesn't make sense. But there's actually a scenario. Let's say one of the pieces here, how it's red and blue, so it's in the right spot. But let's say it was red here and blue there instead. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, so... Okay, so here is basically flip. We just have to flip it back. But how do you do that? So what you do is, let's just see this piece. You see this piece, it doesn't belong there, but let's do it. So let's do upside down side, upside down side. So we just put this random piece there. But also what we did is we took this piece out. So now we could just put it away to the orange, upside down side, upside down side. So there, see, that's how you do that second scenario. And that's, those are the only scenarios. So that's why a second layer is simple. Then the third layer, there's a bunch of scenarios. So first we either have this line where it's like that. So what we do here is we spin it like that. Then we do up, side, down, side. And then we spin it back down. So now we have the cross. So there's also a different way to get to the cross. So let me just set that up. So what it is. So I won't set it up. I'll just leave it like this. Okay, I'll set it up. Okay, so right here so the other scenario is if it's like this we have one here one here one here so that's three and like some sort of nine o'clock symbol so what you do is it's the same thing you do that but it's upside down side and then upside down side again and then we bring it back down now we have the cross too and then the last scenario is if there's just nothing so let me see if I can set that up. Okay, so it's kind of hard to set up, but basically all you have to do is like this, then upside, downside, just once, and then it should set up either the line or the nine o'clock symbol. So, so let's say we just have like one dot here, one dot here. Like we don't have this nine o'clock symbol or we don't have this line or we don't have the cross. All you have to do is just the same algorithm that upside down side and back. That's all you have to do to fix if it has no, no yellow in these three symbols. I showed you the cross, the nine o'clock symbol and the straight line. So now let's put the edges in. So first, we have to make sure the cross is solved correctly. So sometimes, so as you can see here, we have red, but this is not red. Here, green, this is not green. If we put it like that, the green goes away. But here we already have blue and orange in the right spot. So in this scenario, this is already one step done. So we can move on to the next step, which is we have to do this algorithm. That, that. That, 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 that. So now we have the cross in the right spot. And it's actually cool how these algorithms just always work. It's really cool about that. But if it's not like that, where the cross is not solved in the first place, so let me set that up. So we have... So now let's just say we have one, one right here. So all you do is the same algorithm where it's up, side, down, side, up, side, side, down. And then it should have two. So, so you just have to like turn this to, to look for the two. So one, two, but then you make these two be facing in this direction. So one facing that way, one facing back. And then this algorithm again. And then we have the cross up. Now the last step is to put the corners in it. So sometimes you get lucky where there's already one in, so that's good. But it doesn't matter if there's one or no, because it's the same thing. So this piece belongs right over here. So what we're going to do is that. 
So now we just put this piece where it belongs. So now we want to flip it. So it's basically like flipping a corner, but that's cheating. So what we do is we could just turn it around and do upside, down, side, upside, down, side until this piece goes in the right spot. You keep doing it until it works. And now we just want to fix the, the white. So we just do the same algorithm upside, down, side, upside, down, side, upside, down, side until the white solves. So now let's just turn it back, match up everything. Okay, so now we're almost done. Two more corners left. This time we got lucky, it was easy, where we didn't have to move the corners around so much. I'll show it again after we finish this. So now this is in the right spot and this is, so we just turn it upside down and keep doing upside down side, upside down side, upside down side, upside down side until this is in the right spot. Now we turn the bottom, leave it facing this way, hold it this way, don't turn the cube like this, leave it like this and turn this until this is in the right spot. Then what we have to do is flip it, so we do upside down side, upside down side until the piece is in the right spot. Now we just turn it back and bam, you just solved your Rubik's cube. So now let's just show again, because here we didn't have the corners, like here was an easy solve, the corners, we're mostly in the right spot so now i'm gonna mix it up better and let's see so let's just go over the whole thing again quickly so i'll show it so let's just mix it up okay so let's see if you remember if you have your rubik's cube with you you could try to solve it with me too and let's see how you do so here we have the mix of Rubik's Cube, and we start with the first layer. So what we're going to do is we have to match up all the colors with their spots on the white. Make sure it's white. You could do it with any color, but the white, for some reason, a lot of people do it with to start out. So that's how I learned, too. So now we're just popping in all these sides. If you want to go back in the video to remember how to do it, you can go check. Okay, so now we just match up these middle pieces with their bottom pieces, and we start with the second layer. Look for the pieces on the top. Remember, with no yellow, we find one here. Push it to the green side, because the blue's here. Now we do it again with this color. And then we look again. We have orange here to the green side. Blue. And now we have this scenario again. So basically, we just take it out by doing the same algorithm you put it in and then put it back. And now we have that. And here is that scenario I was talking about where there's nothing on the top. So remember, just do that. The normal algorithm, upside down side. And then you could turn this back into a 9 o'clock symbol. Then back down like that. Upside down side, upside down side. Repeat that two times. Now we have the cross. And of course, the cross will not always be solved correctly. You're lucky if it is. So now let's see if we can match up to see. So we have orange in the right spot, green in the right spot. So remember, one of them faces back, one faces right. And then we do this algorithm, upside, down, side, up, side, side, down, side. And now we solve the cross. Now we have to put the corners in the right spot again. This corner belongs on this side. So what we do is we do up, push the white in the wrong spot, so we put it away, so side. Then with the other side, up, push it away. Then we go back down to put the white in the red spot, put it back to fix the white. And now we moved in the back side, so we match up these. And now we move this piece to the right spot. So we just turn it upside down, upside down side, upside down side until it's in the right spot. Now we look up. This is in the right spot, so we do upside down side, upside down side, upside down side, upside down side, until we put it in the right spot, and or we fix the white. Sometimes you're going to be putting the corners, like flipping it basically with the algorithm, and sometimes you're just going to be fixing the white for later. So here we are fixing the white maybe, and we have two corners already solved. So now let's see if you know how to do this. The algorithm is upside down side like usual. After you turn it upside down, 
basically you just have to flip it so you keep doing that algorithm until it is in the right spot then we move it to the side and you just solve the cube like that and also remember when you're when it's upside down and then you're turning this to do different corners remember you don't turn the whole cube you just turn the bottom layer so I hope this video helped you learn how to solve your first Rubik's Cube, and I hope now you are able to solve it without watching this video, so you can memorize it and show off to your friends and family. So I hope this helped you, and we'll see you for another video of how to solve more puzzles like Rubik's Cubes. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye!